What's up, everybody? What is going on? Happy Thursday. Yes, it is a Thursday. Would be uh, July 21st, man. What's going on to everyone? We are here to have some fun. As you all can see from the title of the video, we're, we're celebrating a pretty huge milestone, if you ask me. It's 30K subscribers. We, we got some movie. No, my, my dog, he's, he's excited as well, as you all can probably hear his little tippy toes running around the hardwood floor. Let me get him over on the couch. We can chill out. But we're here to celebrate, man. It's uh, it's it's a celebration today. 30K, I don't take that lightly. I take that uh, this milestone very seriously. I am just so happy and excited and honored to have grown this community to where we are and obviously to continue to grow and, and meet new people and interact with you all, talking about the things that we love, movie shows, all that fun stuff that we do here. It's so, so, so cool to be at this milestone and again we're, we're 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 pushing ahead we're still growing this channel and meeting new people but i can't thank you all enough and that's what we're doing like i said we're celebrating for the first 10 15 minutes you know if you guys have any questions or comments or um you know if you want to let me know how you found the channel what were some of your favorite reviews what are things that you enjoy what are things you would like to see on the channel you know we can talk about that for the first 15 20 minutes or so and then there's some movie news i want to talk to you all about this is uh it's a fun weekend for us uh nerds out there you know we got nope coming out let me uh it's actually here i can't even get right there <laughs> and then behind me we got michael myers my favorite slasher of all time and then my man soups we we'll, we'll be talking halloween kills in today's stream we'll be talking and kind of talking about the trailer and expectations and all that different stuff the, the synopsis that's been out there we're going to talk about uh like i said nope i got a chance to see that this week i got a review on the channel have a very special review coming out tomorrow with a, a spoiler discussion with some really awesome people that you know uh, i'll be dropping tomorrow but we'll be talking about nope for a little bit and then comic-con you know we got marvel news dc news they're going to be uh there in attendance what can we expect Back from that uh and then also too i want to talk some tv stuff you all know we cover a lot of tv here so i, I want to get you all this kind of the pulse of the community on excitement level for house of the dragons and excitement level for lord of the rings the, the power of the rings i believe is the title so we're going to wrap the stream up with that discussion and then of course any questions comments like i said anything you all have we'll bring that to the conversations and have a good time so in the meantime let me see who we got in the chat let me say what's up to everyone uh courtney congratulations uh you deserve it thank you so much courtney um you know you've you've been a part of the community for a while and i appreciate all the support uh we got my man tony movie chappy in the building what's going on tony hope you're doing well uh mara ha uh, you have a yes i'm here you're here thank you for joining me uh thank you for watching yesterday's um uh, premiere video of nope um very uh, excited to get your thoughts on the film we get a chance to see it and then like i said tomorrow um, I shot a almost two hour pre-recorded uh, Nope spoiler discussion with uh, Michael from Black Gay Comic Geek and my man Griff from um, Film Speak. So I'll be dropping that tomorrow. So I'm, I'm really we're going to talk a little bit about Nope. No spoilers, of course, but I'm um, very excited to see you here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nicole, stopping by. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, Nicole. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you being a part of the community and showing some love. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, Tony. Um, let's see here. Thank you very much. Appreciate you all. Happy Friday Eve. Yes, it's almost Friday. It's almost the weekend. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's going on? Thank you so much. Um, you have the bell. Oh, man, that's I don't know about all that, but I appreciate you, man. I appreciate the uh, the compliment there. Uh, I watched it happen. Hey, that's what we're here for. Again, for all my um, you know, day oneers, all the people that's been here for, you know, one or two, three, four, five, what are we on? Five years now. Um, let me know again if you're uh or if you're new too, because we've we've gained a lot of new subscribers. Shout out to the new subscribers, join the community. But um, and, and again, showing love to them. But I I'm I'm also here to celebrate those OGs that's been here for like I said, five, four, three, two years, one year, or whatnot. Let me know, you know, what what is the uh the video that really kind of kept you on board. What was the, was it a movie review, a TV review, a live stream? Let me know how you all found me on this huge ocean of great content creators called YouTube. I would love to know. And again, I also want to know, because this, again, we're, we're pivoting the channel a little bit, not you know crazy, but if you all have noticed, you know, I've been putting in a lot more work on these YouTube shorts because, hey, 
I told y'all before in previous streams, this is what I want to do as far as full time, full time, full time content creator. And that's what we're striving for. So YouTube shorts is something that I saw kind of has, you know, is working the algorithm. So you all have probably seen a lot of that. And it's going to probably be a lot more of that as well as mixing in the TV discussions that we do on a daily, weekly basis, movie reviews. I'm really enjoying these uh, pre-recorded uh, live or pre-recorded discussions that I've been having for, you know, we did it for Thor. We did it for Dr. Strange. We've done it in the past before. But I'm, I'm really enjoying that. And the one we shot yesterday was really fun. I'm really excited to share that with you all tomorrow. But um, I also want to get some ideas from you all because, again, we're, we're continuing to grow the channel. And I just want to know, is there any particular content you guys would like to see on the channel? Um, reviews, discussions, um, you know, more live streams. Let me know uh, in this live stream as well, because I definitely, like I said, I'm always a person that appreciates the moment that we're in. 30 subscribers is no easy feat, but I just want to continue. My mind's always like getting bigger, you know, getting better and, and progressing and, and growing. So let me know in the chat if there's anything that you all would like to see moving forward as we continue this journey. What's going on, Jimmy? Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, Michael Myers is the best, hands down. Hands down. There's no question. Jason, come on, man. How can you get out of here, man? You can't even swim. Uh, Freddie's my guy. I'm not going to lie. Freddie, that's my guy. You know, he's number two for me, but hi michael uh you know ghost face can do some things but there's not like a definitive ghost face right there's so many of them right <laughs> but i love scream um you know chucky's out there but no one's touching mike no one's messing with my man mike and we're gonna talk about michael myers here tonight uh especially with that new trailer out there uh appreciate you man appreciate you uh thank you thank you not appreciate the love there we got my man d movie man why does it feel like 20 and 25k would just come <laughs> hey man it does i'll be honest with you you're a man smoking at the game <laughs> uh shout out to my <laughs> Shout out to the reference. Martin, one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid. I, I watch that um, every so often because it's on HBO Max. Uh, I love Martin, uh, brother man from the fifth flow and, and, you know, Gina and, uh, you know, Shanae all the man and brother man from the, uh, uh, my man, hustle man. I, I chief, I chief. I got these chicken wings. Listen, man, I love Martin. I didn't get anyone in, from Martin fans. Anyone watch that uh, BET special? Was it worth watching? I don't have BET, so I don't, I didn't get a chance to watch it, but neither here nor there. Shout out to D movie, man. Yes, we were um 20k was 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 just a couple months ago and 25k a couple weeks later and now we here we are celebrating 30k. So yeah, I'm 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 loving the the growth and I and I love this community that we're building. But shout out to D Movie Man. Check him out guys. He has a great YouTube channel, great content on his channel as well. And, and I mean, my man loves Martin. So I mean, what else can you want from a person? <laughs> Uh, do you think Michael will die? I don't think he We're going to definitely put a pin in that. I'm going to definitely uh, answer that question a little bit later when we pivot over to the discussions. Again, if you all are just tuning in, thank you so much. Of course, we're celebrating the 30K uh, subs on the channel, but we're also going to pivot maybe in the next 10, 10 to 15 minutes or so. We'll pivot to some movie news. And again, we'll be touching on uh, I saw Nope. I won't spoil anything, but I'll just kind of, again, reiterate what my review said uh, the other day that I dropped. So check that out, my full review to get my full thoughts. But I'm going to I'll talk about it a little bit tonight. Then we're going to talk a little bit about Halloween. You know, we got that trailer, we got the synopsis, we got some steals that we'll talk about, uh, and then we'll kind of end the stream with Comic Con, Marvel. What can we expect? What what may not come this weekend? Uh, you know, we got some DC stuff. There's some some ramblings about this guy here. You know, Seuss, my guy Henry Cavill. We'll talk about that. And then for my TV fans out there, we're going to end the stream talking about Lord of the Rings. How we how we feel about it? Are we excited for it? And House of Dragons. You know, we're going to talk about that too. So a lot of a lot of fun topics that I have lined up for you all to uh, to discuss tonight. Uh, thank you so much, Sia. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes. Hey, welcome to the stream. We are live. We are here. This ain't pre-recorded. This is me in the flesh. I'm here. I'm right here with you all. So yes, I'm so glad you're able to watch it. Uh, shout out to all 22 of you all watching live. Thumbs up, share, drop your comments, your you know, your theories when we get into those discussions a little bit later, predictions when we get into that a little bit later, as well as uh, you know, thumbs up. It's huge. Thumb, thumb, thumbs up. Algorithm works it out, gets it out to the people out there. Uh, and shout out to the replay gang. If you're watching this on the replay. Shout out to you. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Um, Zia, I either found this channel via pay or wait or just my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two uh, people that I'm absolutely huge fans of. Uh, shout out to pay or wait. Uh, I had the huge cool um, chance to meet her in person. It wasn't even planned. It was during the, uh, this was this past 
was it February or March when the Batman, um, we had a screener out here in St. Louis and um, she was out here and I got to meet her. And she was, as imagined, as you all know, if you follow Sharana from Pay Away, She's a super dope, <laughs> super cool. Uh, we, we, we chatted for about 15, 20 minutes because I know she was doing some stuff with her family. Uh, and hopefully one day we can link up again um, and, and chop it up and, and, uh, uh, and, you know, do all that fun stuff. So Sharonda, love her, great content creator. If you all don't know who Pay Away it is, you, you're missing out on something. You know, she's hilarious, number one. And she also has incredible taste in movies and TV shows. And I love the 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 streams that she hosts. I try to pop in every now and then. She's just such a great person. So, yes, definitely shout out to Sharonda. And then my man, uh, B. Avery from Just My Opinion Reviews. Um, the last year or so, we really linked up and did some a lot of collaborations. I'm on his channel every so often with his, uh, his movie uh, Roundup every Sunday. So, yeah, those are two incredible content creators uh hope to meet brandon one day live in the fresh uh, live in the flesh uh but yeah two of these great these are these are just phenomenal people and i'm so glad i'm able to uh have met one of them hopefully we can meet the, the next one and, and continue to work with them and collab and, and continue to, to grow our brands right so that's that's uh that's what we're looking for so yeah shout out to them uh thank you thank you thank you uh let's see here i appreciate you uh have you seen the new trailer for don't i haven't uh, Grant, I have not. I did see before, speaking of trailers, I did watch the Dungeons and Dragons trailer. Yo, that trailer looking fire, man. I'm I'm not a big Dungeons and Dragons fan. You know, I'm a Stranger Things fan. Now, obviously, that, that show's kind of based around that lore uh, to a certain extent. But yeah, that, that trailer looked good. But I have not seen, I've seen the first one, but I didn't see the new one. Uh, and I don't know if I want to see the second one. I'm, I'm very excited for it, you know. Uh, Olivia Wilde, great uh, director, her uh, director of debut. Book Smart was great. Uh, this cast, obviously, Florence Pugh, um, Harry Styles. Uh, who else was in this film? I can't even think off the top. This is a great cast, great premise, very interesting trailer. The first one at least. So I might stay away from the second trailer. I don't I don't want too many things given away. So, but I'm excited for it. It comes out in September, I believe. So shout out to Grant. Uh strictly starlight, congrats. When you got the 25 for hey, it was just a couple of days. No, it was about a, it was a couple months ago. But here we are. Here we are. We're celebrating the next milestone. And hopefully we'll be celebrating the next one uh sooner rather than later. But shout out to you, uh, strictly starlight, because I think you live like literally in another different time zone. So shout out to you showing some love and support and being part of this community. Uh thank you so much. I appreciate the love and support. Thank you, thank you. Going up, up, up. That's the goal. That's the goal. It's to not only just grow, but also just continue to interact with you all. Cause I don't know. I just don't want to be one of those channels that has, you know, the, the numbers are nice, but I, I'm more concerned and more get more fulfillment in the the uh, the community aspect. So um, the numbers are great, but I love that I can interact with you all. We talk in the comments. We, we see each other on different channels and all that stuff. That's that's what's really important to me. So shout out to every one of you all showing some love and support and being here um, to, to celebrate, but also talk some movie news because we're going to get into that here in a little bit. I found you through... Ah, Shout out to you, number one. But then you just broke my heart because you just made me think about the terrible decision of HBO to not renew that show for a second season. But yeah, shout out to you, Lovecraft Country. Uh, what a show. What a show, man. Fingers crossed. Me, uh, Misha Green and uh, that whole cast and crew can make it happen, man. I don't know how Journey Smollett, superstar, uh, Jonathan Major, superstar, uh, Misha Green's doing her thing, uh, you know, rest in peace, and Michael K. Williams. But man, I would love to get a season two. I would love it. I would absolutely love it. I mean, we've seen crazier things, right? But um, fingers crossed, one day. Huge Martin fan, same here, same here. Love me some Mod Mod. Uh, congrats, E, uh, gifting him glad. Yeah, this is a uh, shout out to you. And yeah, shout out to Rain510. Uh, still Rain. Um, yeah, we were, what was that? Apple, I think, was when we first started linking up and talking about serving and stuff like that. So yeah, appreciate the love, appreciate the support. Uh, and, and I'm so glad you're able to make it today. Isn't this the last Halloween show? Hell, we'll see. We'll see. Especially when we talk about it, because there's there, there might be a new babysitter stalker in the new one that we'll talk about so we'll see you know if it makes that green you know they're gonna make more appreciate it l uh let's see here uh did you go to any comic cons no i have not never been but one day jimmy one day again if we're if again if my plans work out as far as just really um growing the channel growing the community getting different opportunities which we've gotten many opportunities so far you know sponsored videos uh people you know collabs stuff like that so one of these days hopefully if we continue to grow, I would love to go to a Comic-Con, San Diego, New York, you name it. It's definitely a bucket list goal. So, Jimmy, I'm, I'm going to 
put it out there in the world. One of these days, man. One of these days. Sooner rather than later. Um, let's see here. Shout out to Tony Movie Chappie. Um, I'm loving your YouTube shorts. Like the yeah, man. It's 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 been cool, Jimmy. Uh, I'm really enjoying that again. Just someone that kind of keeps my ear to the ground with technology, and then particularly again, the goal is to make this a full time gig. You know, I'm always seeing what's the next thing that the the platform is is shifting to short content, right? YouTube and here, putting on my little you know business hat here. Let me <clears throat> you know the YouTube algorithm right now. Now YouTube seems to really be pushing out the shorts. Uh, you know, to compete uh, with TikToks and obviously Instagram reels and stuff like that so i've, I've definitely took taken advantage of that and it's fun man it's it's time it saves a lot of time i'll tell you that you know i, I love making long, long form content interacting with you all breaking stuff down we're going to continue to do that because i love those conversations that we have uh but the short short uh shorts are just like you know you shoot it you know, you get your, your thought out a minute or less, um, you know, you, you, you don't not much editing and, and, and there you go, you know, and, and it spreads to a, a um, you know, big audience. So, yeah, I, I've been enjoying making those and continue to making though. I will continue to make those. Uh, and again, let me know in the chat for those that are part of the community. What other things would you like to see on the channel moving forward? Live streams, more discussions, more movie reviews, TV reviews, you name it. Let me know in the chat. But uh, shout out to you, Jimmy, from recognizing the shift. And I'm glad you're liking them, man. I'm having fun with the shorts. I've been here for a while. Uh, and pleasantly, uh, please, uh, uh, please saw when you. Yeah, man. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate you. You've always been in the comments, showing love, dropping some great theories, some great comments. So I appreciate you, man. I'm glad you've been part of the journey. Uh, and glad that you're still here and, and supporting the channel. Uh, culture. Hey, what's going on? This is so, um, speaking of TV shows, you know, I covered Atlanta this past spring, had a good time doing so. And, and, and culture here, uh, covered, uh, Atlanta as well. There we go. <laughs> but he also covered some other great stuff too. So shout out to you. Uh, hopefully one day, uh, maybe when Atlanta season four comes back around, maybe we can link up because I, I do plan on doing because I did a couple live streams with Atlanta, but I definitely want to do them uh, for season four, the finale and do them like weekly. So maybe we can get you on one of those streams. But uh, shout out to you, culture. Uh, let's see. The D&D came out. Yeah, it was not good, but the new one looks pretty good. Chris Pine is my guy. He's looking awesome. He's a, he's a great leading man. I'm really excited for that film. Um, I haven't, but I'm trying to remember. Is that the... Is that the football movie? Let me know, Tony. Um, yeah, Henry Styles is a pretty good actor, man. He's uh, he's you know he was in Dunkirk, and you know I thought he was uh, did a good job there, and 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 he looks like pretty awesome with um, this new new film. Three years, three is um, and correct me if I'm wrong. Strictly, are you referring to you've been part of this journey for three years? Because if that's the case, shout out to you. And shout out to everyone watching. But shout out to you if you've been here for three years. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Smith. Hey, how you doing, DC? This is another great a supporter. Man, I, I, this goes back maybe four years. I know you've been a part of this channel for a while, always showing love and support, and I can't thank you enough. I'm glad you're able to tune in uh, and, and join us in this live stream. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we need another. Okay. Hey, comment. I, I couldn't agree with you more. Couldn't agree with you more. Definitely on the Lovecraft. And, um, you know, Watchmen, when it ended, I'm like, yes, I would love to see Sister Knight take on that mantle uh, for those that have seen it. Uh, but then I'm like, you know what? It's okay, to, I guess, to get just complete stories, you know, and not worried about spinoffs and follow ups and multiple seasons. But I would I wouldn't be mad if they announced, you know, a continuation of that story. But definitely love crap. But I, I'm OK if we are not going to get a Watchmen continuation. That was a great show, by the way. Uh, we talked about you earlier still. What's going on? Uh, I remember when you hit, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You've been here for a while again. I know we linked up with the, the servants. Um, what else did we used to cover back in the day? Defending Jacob and um, uh, what was that show on HBO with uh, Cynthia Revo and Ben Mendelsohn? The El Cuco, the, the Outsider. I think The Outsider too was a show that we uh, we uh, talked about weekly. So yeah, shout out to you still. I appreciate the love and being part of the community and bringing your friends on the channel. It, it, it's it's awesome. It means a lot. So I appreciate you. Uh, Netflix can use some um, real <laughs> Yeah, Listen, Netflix, uh, they gave me some great stuff with Stranger Things. You know, I just reviewed The, uh, the Gray Man, which is coming out tomorrow, by the way. If there's any action spy junkies out there, pretty good film. Check out my review for that. Uh, but yeah, their, their content, man, it's, it's been, it's, it's, it's kind of declining if we're being honest with each other, but uh, fingers crossed, like you said, get some good content soon. Um, uh, Nashville. 
Oh, nice. That would be amazing if was it was there. I've been in Nashville once. Uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, time when I was there. Really good food. It was, it's this breakfast restaurant. I, I can't remember the name, but oh, my, the best breakfast I've ever had in my, in my life. It was amazing. Shout out to the people out in Nashville. They know they know what they're doing out there. They know what they're doing with the food. What's uh, up, so, man? I hope all is well. Uh, we'll love to collaboration. Yeah, that's what we're about, man. We're all about uh, meeting and 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 uh, you know supporting each other. So yeah, hit me up um, if you haven't already. I, I, sometimes I don't check my DMs as often as I should, uh, but yeah, hit me up on you know IG, Twitter, whatever the case may be. My my uh, movie files emails on the um, the about page. So yeah, hit me a link, man. Let me know what you're uh, what you got in mind. Became a super fan. Oh, Mayor of East Town. Ooh, that was that's a good one. That's a deep cut there. Uh, I love that show. Miss that show. Love it so much. That ooh, that was that was a good show. Um, Kate Winslet and the whole murder mystery. Oh man, that was a good ass show. Shout out to uh, Mayor of East Town. If you go to New York, let me know. Yeah, one day uh, still. That's another. Well, funny enough, I lived in New York for like four years almost. Uh, but I was in upstate, and my dumbass never went to New York City. I was in New York for how do you live in New York? upstate new york and never go to new york city i don't know i was on some other stuff back then but uh yeah one day for sure because there's a, there's a lot of a lot of people i interact with here on this um you know platform that live in new york that i would love to meet in person um so definitely definitely on the bucket list for sure um thank you thank you thank you so much appreciate you showing up and, sh and being a part of the, the journey and being here tonight thank you um all right so i think um Ooh, Tony with the with the idea Blu-ray collection. You know, as you say that, Tony, I wish I can pivot the screen over here without dropping this setup here. But yeah, man, I was a, you know, back in the day, I used to work for uh, for Target for many years. When I was in high school and worked for Best Buy for many years when I was, you know, in my early twenties. And your boy was an addict, Tony. I was uh, pretty deep in the game, in the collection game, man. And uh, as you get older. As bills come, you know, you got responsibilities, priorities, you know, I kind of the 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 addiction cooled down. But then the 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 pandemic came out and I'm like, yo, I, I'm going to need to save my monies and put things aside and save up. So I, I have not bought a Blu-ray. <sighs> two years, bro. I'm being dead ass. I haven't bought a Blu-ray in two years, which is crazy. You know, it's, I mean, and, and to be fair to me, there are so many different platforms out there. You know, Disney Plus has all the and I have all the Marvel movies uh, up until the last Marvel movie I bought was probably Far From Home. I don't have Black Widow uh, and, and obviously other stuff that's come out. But yeah, Tony, it's been two years. So I, my, my collection is looking weak. So I don't know if I want to put myself out there, you know, putting out a, a full collection video. I mean, listen, I got like I got like a hundred, a hundred of them, Blu-rays, 4Ks, you know, but it's 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 an old, it's an older catalog. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, maybe a um a live stream or something like that, Tony. I'll I'll keep that in the in the memory bank and we'll we'll, we'll revisit that in the future. But shout out to the recommendation. Can't wait to watch Note. What's up, Justin? Yes, yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna talk about you know what? Let's let's pivot over to Note right quick before we uh let's say what's up to uh future uh filmmaker. Uh what's up, Josh? How we doing? Shout out to Josh, who has a great YouTube channel as well. He puts out some great content to the folks out there. Um, let's see here. David from Flix Talks introducing me. Awesome. Yeah, man, that's the homie, man. I haven't talked to David uh, in, in a bit, you know, uh, but my man's doing great things over his YouTube channel with the reactions and the trailer reactions, the movie reactions. And yeah, we were, we were, we were locked in for a bit there. We were doing um, live streams on his channel, like weekly discussions. We did some collabs on videos, watch along. So yeah, shout out to David from Flix Talks, man. A really great dude. Uh, representing the West Coast, doing some great things on this platform. So yeah, man, I got, I got, I got to say, what's up to David? See what he's up to, man. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. So you know what? Let's go ahead, um, Justin. Have you? Wh where were you at, Jay? When we were covering that for? Now to be fair, I was a little bit late to the game. I came in around like episode seven and broke down the rest of the season. We did a live stream. So yeah, Justin, check that out. It's in the, it's in the playlist. Severance and trust me, when it comes back for season two. You, you're gonna you're gonna feel the presence because I'm gonna be bringing that severance coverage to the channel, live streams, discussions, so much more. But yeah, check out my severance, uh, one of my favorite shows of this year, by the way. Uh, you can check out that uh, that playlist because I did cover quite a few episodes. I did a theory video, Justin. Where were you at, man? Where were you at? Check it out, Jay. Uh, I I love that show. It's one of my favorite shows. Uh, most anticipated this year, Jimmy. Um. Uh. 
I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all see that Black Panther there? Listen, shout out to E Man Movie Reviews. Totally 100% supporting uh, uh, hashtag recast to Trala. A lot of stuff going on with that film. Um, I'm just hopeful that they can make something. Because I, to me, my, my thing is I, I'll never forget 2018, February 2018, seeing that film for the first time in theaters and just the cultural impact. And I'm just, it, it breaks my heart what obviously happened to the late, great Chadwick Boseman. Um, it's really, really devastating, man. And I'm really, I'm really hopeful for this film, guys. I'm really, it's to, that's to answer your question. That's still my most anticipated film, even with the the decisions being made to not to, to, to um, you know, recast Chala and the rumors that I've seen and heard and read with uh, how they're gonna handle that. And and again, I, I, I shout out to E Man Movie Reviews. I, I try to chop or uh, pop into his streams and because he he's big advocate about uh, 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 recasting T'Challa, has a uh, petition out there doing great things, putting out some, and, and the two, for all those that, you know, that aren't too familiar with it, check out email movie reviews. It's nothing, you know, no hateful things. It's not nothing about, you know, not allowing Sh Shiri to have her opportunity to become the Black Panther, which is something that's in the comments. It's nothing about that. It's just about the continuing the legacy of a iconic Marvel character that needs, that not only needs, but has so many more stories to be told on the big screen. So I'm 100% behind that to, uh, to recasting. But, you know, I'm still very excited to see what they have for us. Namor, you know, there's some other things out there that's been said, uh, you know, uh, Riri's going to be in it. So I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm very, very hopeful. Because again, I just remember being in that theater 2018. Obviously, it's going to be a heavy, heavy heart seeing the film in uh, November. But I'm... I'm <sighs> Fingers crossed, Jimmy. Fingers crossed, my friend. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Definitely interested in doing some collabs. And for sure, man, let's let's link up, bro. Let's do it. You heard it here first. We're going to link up in the future. We definitely, and even maybe beyond Atlanta, we can do something uh, sooner than that. <sighs> American Horror Story Season 2, Dolls for instance. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on the episode. Well, I hate to break it to you, Cassandra, because you, you, you know, I covered it last year. I wasn't a fan, to say the least. I don't know if I'll be watching that. You know what? I don't think this on the on the list tonight, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Trying to train him happy mystery. Yeah, I need to catch up on uh, Westworld. I, I kind of abandoned that show pretty early on. This wasn't feeling it. This wasn't feeling it. Uh, love Mary V's Town. Same here. Um, 2018. Shout out to Josh showing some love for four years now. Mayor, oh man, y'all getting me on in the Mayor Mayor V Town mindset. What are your thoughts on the Hellboy movies? Fun, fun movies. I didn't see the David Harper one. I uh, didn't really, um, didn't look interesting. Didn't look good and heard it wasn't that good. But the, um, the other two, Guillermo, was, I, I enjoyed those a lot. Um, yes, we need East, uh, for show, sure. for show. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to go out to the East Coast sooner rather than later, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, again, it's a habit that I had to let go. I um, had to let it go. But, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, things get, Funds coming in, you know, we can we can get back on that train for movies I care for because I used to just buy movies just to buy movies like add a collection, even if I don't even watch the movie. I was like, that's how bad it was. I would just buy stuff just to put it apart of collection, even if I didn't like the film. But uh definitely, definitely want to get back to buying the movies I love, right? Uh all the Marvel. Yeah, I'm I'm super, super happy that we were able to add that to the to the channel a couple years ago. I love those live discussions that we do with Marvel. Uh, and many more to come. You know, we got She Hulk coming next month. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, Severance was awesome. Severance was awesome. Shout out to Nisi Smith with this again. She's always showing love. Thank you so much for the super chat again. Um, not necessary. Don't have to do anything for all those watching live. But if you all are inclined to support the channel in this manner, like she's doing, super chats are open, uh, PayPal, Cash App, all the good stuff. But the best way you can support the channel is being here, uh, giving a thumbs up, sharing it. But shout out to the love uh, with the super chat there. I appreciate you. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, you, you guys are. Yeah, like I said, hashtag uh, uh, recast the child. Shout out to E-Man Movie Reviews. Um, 100% behind that. All right, so let's go ahead and, you know, we, 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 we've we talked, some people have brought it up, but let's talk about it. I saw a movie this week. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I saw, I got a chance to see Nope earlier this week. Got my full review on the channel now. Uh, I have a 
a uh, spoiler review coming to you all in the coming days. So keep an eye out for that with uh, Michael as well as my man Griff from Film Speak. Um, but you know, just kind of brief thoughts. I don't know. Let me know in the chat for those that are watching live. If you're if you're gonna see Nope tonight, uh, if you're gonna see it over the weekend, let me know. Uh, and again, I won't spoil anything. Like I said, I do have a full non-spoiler review on the channel now that you all can watch um and then again we're gonna talk spoilers uh when the film is out for everyone to see but just kind of my brief thoughts about the film before we uh go back into the chat and see if you all are looking forward to it or if you plan on checking it out i really so and you'll see it in my review uh that we did with uh michael and griffin i, I walked out of nope kind of like mm. I don't know, man. I'm not really, not really feeling it. Right. Drove home, went to bed, slept on it, woke up, wrote down some notes, and we're like, you know what? I appreciate the efforts. I appreciate the ambitious nature of the film. You know, again, no spoilers, but the look, the feel, Hoyt uh, Van Hotima, who is a phenomenal cinematographer, um, Tenet, Dunkirk, in the stellar, my favorite sci fi film of all time. Um, beautiful cinematography in the film the score uh phenomenal the performances really strong very believable um kiki palmer is great daniel kalua fantastic uh steven yin wanted more from that character and we'll talk about that more in the spoilers um and everyone else that was in the cast was great the ufo alien narrative is very intriguing in this film without giving too much away it's a, it's a different take on the alien story i'll say that um very unexpected in that matter scare factors you all know if you've been part of the community for a while i grew up in horror you know we'll talk about halloween king uh kills after this so i'm kind of desensitized towards being like oh i'm scared and, and no no disrespect to those that get scared pretty easily but you know I'm, i don't get scared easily i'll just say that but i don't i don't think the intention was this to be a scary horror film? It is in the horror genre, sub horror. You know, there's many different sub genres within horror. I feel like this plays more into the suspenseful, thrilling, mystery sides of horror uh, with the tinge of sci fi, um, which, you know, I'm here for. But again, I'll let you all know. I, I don't think it's terrifying. So if you guys are kind of, you know, a little scared by little bumps and noises, it has a couple of jump scares here and there, but that's not the goal of the film. So definitely could check it out for those uh, scary cats out there. Um, things I didn't like about it without giving too much away. There there are some, some subplots that I wish were handled differently. When you see the film, just remember when you see the film, remember Gordy. And when you see the film, you know what I'm talking about. And again, we got a full almost two hour spoiler review coming tomorrow to talk to elaborate on Gordy. Uh, wish that was handled a little bit differently. I wish the film would explore more of a particular relationship between our main characters, um, and particularly Kiki Palmer and uh, Daniel Kalua and, and Keith David, who plays the father. I wish that was explored a little bit more. And there was some patient issues, you know, not a super long, like I, I originally I heard it was like two and a half hours. I'm like, okay, that's a pretty big film. Um, under, understandably so. It's a big, it's a big film, literally on the scope and scale. Definitely seen an IMAX if you plan on seeing it. But, you know, I felt like there were some pacing issues. Um, it took a little bit to pick up on some things to really dive into the minutia of it all. But again, um, very, 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 I got a little poster here, you know, shout out to the posters. Um, very much a, a film that dives into some really interesting topics, um, you know, topics such as monetizing pain, trauma, uh, exploiting trauma. Um, um, there's a, there's a, some allegories about kind of prey versus, you know, the predator and a prey and, and locking people into boxes and whatnot so there's a lot of stuff to dive deep into so again i don't want to get too much into it all again you can check out my non-spoiler review and again hit that notification bell because myself griffin and michael did a like i said almost a two hour uh full-on discussion about all the twists the turns the mystery elements the uh you know jordan peele's direction you know i felt like the film definitely plays homage to a lot of these films you all see on the screen now signs space odyssey alien close encounters jaws um we got some really strong performances again i can't wait to talk more about gordy and again when you see the film you know what i'm talking about um kiki palmer dan kalua give a really strong performance very believable very uh you know endearing performances and it's a it's a different take 
on an alien UFO type of narrative. So again, I'm very excited to talk more about it. But again, I'm going to check into the chat and see where you all, where, where's the excitement level for you all? Are you excited for Nope? Are you seeing it in a couple hours? Are you going to see it tomorrow? Are you going to see it on the weekend? Are you going to skip out on it? Are you Nope on Nope? <laughs> Let me know in the chat. Very curious to know what you all are saying about that film. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Um, <laughs> listen, y- listen, <laughs> YouTube don't, it's, it's not that it's about the money, but I think some people think that YouTube pays like crazy amount of money. It's not, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't there yet, my friend, but, it, and, and no, you know, very, um, don't take anything from granted that, that, that I have gotten from YouTube, financially speaking. But it, it don't it don't pay the best. I'll just say that. But that's not the goal, though. The goal is to, to grow and to continue to have this awesome community. Um, didn't uh, you didn't care for that? I respect. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Do you did you did you see my reviews for um, the first season? I, I was and I covered all the episodes, uh, Cassandra. I, oh, sorry, I covered all the episodes, but I uh, wasn't a fan. It wasn't my type of show, and I and I honestly didn't even like the the. the the season, the actual American Horror Story, the first few episodes with the um, the family and the the writer and all that stuff and the pills, but then we got into some really stupid stuff, and then the other the second half of that episode of that season, yeah, I, I, yeah, I wasn't a fan. I'll just say I wasn't a fan. Um, moved into my new oh, congratulations, that is awesome. Moving and oh, moving such a task, such a just to ask, but shout out to you. So glad you got into your new place. That's awesome. Uh, yep. What's up, Johnny? Shout out to, uh, hashtag to, uh, shout out to email movie reviews, hashtag, uh, recast the child. 100%. Uh, can you stream? Nope yet? No, nope. <laughs> no, it won't be available to probably 45 days. Uh, so probably what the end of August or so. But if you can, I would recommend seeing it in theaters and IMAX if you have the opportunity. Uh, what do we think of J.J. Abrams as a director and a producer as well? Yeah, he's okay. I I, I used to be a big fan of J.J., but he's the more stuff he's put out, the less I've liked him. Uh, I like him more as a, as a producer than I do a director. But hopefully, you know, he can uh, make some better better films. <laughs> Rashad reviews, what's up, man? Rashad reviews is another person that uh, you know I've been I've been uh, seeing his growth as well for the last few years. He does a lot of reaction videos, um, you know, Star Wars content, anime content, and, and doing some great things on his YouTube channel. So definitely show him some love and, and check him out. But uh, shout out to Rashad, man. Appreciate you stopping by, man. And congrats to you on your growth and your channel and all the stuff you're doing, man. Some great stuff over there, Rashad. Yeah, it's an alien film, but not like one you've seen before. <laughs> no flimsy, no, maybe later. Nope. <laughs> no, I understand. It's, it's, uh, you know, horror, not for, not, it's not for everyone. I get it. I get it. Seeing Nope this weekend also got paid. Oh, payday. Also get paid. So check your cash. Oh, man. Oh, I appreciate the love. I appreciate you. That's awesome. Appreciate you. And shout out to, like I said, payday Friday. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, shout out to Jimmy with the $10 super chat again. Uh, it, 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 it it flatters me that you all, you know, uh, can throw in the support in that matter. And I really appreciate the love and support, Jimmy. Thank you so much for the super chat. It uh, means a lot. appreciate you being here tonight again for all 30 of you watching live. Thumbs up, share, comment. You know, we're celebrating tonight the 30K. And I really, really thank you all for the love and support over the years. And I'm just so happy to continue to grow and continue to grow this community and add more things to the platform. So I, I, I appreciate you, Jimmy. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've heard more of it. Yeah, more of a thrill of Justin, for sure. Not really scary to me, but again, scary can be subjective, but I think it's definitely more of a thriller suspense. Definitely intrigued to know. Got to see it uh, when I can. Yeah, what's up, Andrew? Shout out to you. Um, let's see. Let's see. My man Johnny saying, nope, get out for us. Uh, see what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the, the word uh, wordplay there. Um, I love Jordan Peele's direction. I would love to see him do a, you know, that's funny, Johnny. That's one of the topics we talked about in, in the in the, uh, the spoiler discussion that I'm going to be dropping tomorrow. I'll leave that conversation for that video, but uh, the the sum of it was we, we I would personally like to see him continue to do original stuff. Um, but who knows what the future holds? The man's one of the most in demand directors in Hollywood, so I wouldn't be surprised if Marvel hasn't already contacted him to to do a project, or DC for that matter. Not rushing because I hear it isn't scary. Yeah, it's not. 
I'll be honest. Like I said, it's subjective, but I, f- I feel like the scariest person in the world will walk out and be perfectly fine. Uh, there's one or two jump scares, but it's th- that's not the intention of the film. So, um, But even though it's not scary, I would still recommend it. It's a really great ride. It's a fun ride, especially on the big screen. Oh, shout out to the man. Shout out. Well, first off, shout out to you for joining me on the stream when you got the beautiful, uh, uh, you know, uh, scenery of the Bahamas. Oh, man, that's so dope. I would love to go to the Bahamas one day. Uh, get a uh, get a uh, I don't know, uh, whatever drinks they drink out there. Get get one on me. You know, you know get one on me. Shout out to you showing some love. And, and I hope you're having a great time and chilling, enjoying that weather. That's what's up. That's what's up. Which fictional movie or TV restaurant would you want to eat at? Ooh, great question. A food question. I love food. I'm actually going to order some food when we uh when we end the stream. Um, a restaurant from a film or movie. Mm. Ratatouille. Can I get you a ratatouille? I mean, I don't like a, a, a you know rats making my food, <laughs> but it, it was pretty exquisite based on that film. So I'm going to give it to Ratatouille on that one. That's the first thing that kind of came to mind. I'm sure there's other films uh, with restaurants that I'm just not coming to mind now. Um, what's that one John Favreau movie um, that he did? It was like a, 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 a cooking uh, truck that they had. I can't remember that. That, that food looked good. So, But I'm going to go Ratatouille on that one. Because that food, my man that was like so jaded to the world and upset when he ate that food and it took him back to his childhood. I want a meal like that because my grandma used to get down, rest in peace, some grandma, but she used to get down in the kitchen. So I would love to have that type of uh, moment where I can eat something that takes you back to those days. So I'm going right to you on that one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, is anyone else? So I think that's pretty much it. We're going to move on again. Uh, check out the review for Nope. That's on the channel now. Make sure to check out the full spoiler discussion for Nope that we got dropping tomorrow. Uh, very excited to dive deep into all that good stuff. Chef, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Shout out to Jessica. And uh, thank you for being here tonight. Also, Jessica. Uh, but yeah, check out check out Nope. Again, let me know on the replay. And if you're still in the chat now, while we're still on the topic, if you all are excited for Nope and do you plan on seeing it? Um, and if you're a Jordan Peele fan, let me know in the chat. But let's... <laughs> horror time it is should i turn off the lights uh maybe not because michael you might get me <laughs> let's talk about halloween ends i'm not gonna play the trailer for the simple fact that i don't, I don't you know youtube and the pulling streams and you know the copyright i don't want i don't want to play with that tonight so we we gonna talk i'm assuming you saw the trailer because it's number one on youtube it's the number one trending video on youtube right now with like 1.7 million views or whatever so i'm sure you all have seen it um so we're not gonna play it tonight if you want to play it by all means you know minimize the screen and play it while we're talking about it but i don't like i said i want i don't want to take that chance tonight with uh let me what did i do i thought i had a background for mr michael let me get a let me get a background for you all to set the mood for my man michael myers all right here we go let me let's bring in uh i'm gonna do this this background here let's see if you guys like this one but uh yes yeah, so like i said i'm a big halloween fan this is my favorite slasher franchise of all time with that being said little caveat i'm very aware of the the flaws and the inconsistencies of the franchise but you know my favorite horror film of all time if you all didn't know is um there we go i don't know if y'all can see you got Lori, you know representing me keeping michael away from me but uh yeah 1970s halloween is my favorite horror film of all time so I, i i love this franchise i love this character again very aware that there are some some doo doos in this franchise most recently they came out with one last year Halloween Kills, uh, which I actually, when I first reviewed it, I was, I, I, you know, you know, y'all know me. I try to bring out the positive in the film, and if it delivers what I was looking for, which it did for the most part, I want the. It's called Halloween Kills, and my man killed some people in some pretty gruesome ways that we've never seen Michael do before. Um, so I, I enjoyed the kills, but the, the the story, you know, the second half, and particularly in the evil does and night like all that stuff was pretty bad um and then i don't want to spoil anything but the, how the film ends was very kind of head scratching right but neither here nor there i'm always going to support michael i'm always going to be there check out his new film and we got the new trailer to talk about so again i'm not going to play the trailer you know just for like i mentioned copyright reasons i don't want you to be playing around with the stream taking it down copyright all this that and the other but um the trailer we got it the other day 
was today Thursday would have came out Tuesday night. It's supposed to drop Wednesday, but they gave they gave it to us a little bit early because I think it got leaked actually. So um, listen, my thoughts, and then again, let me know in the chat. Those watching live, watching the replay, if you're a fan, let's talk about it. I liked it. I liked it. Minute and a half, less than a minute and a half. It's like a minute and fifteen, if I'm being honest. It was a really quick teaser, not a full trailer. They didn't give too much away to an extent. Um, there were some moments I'm like, maybe you should have kept that to the film and not in this teaser. But what I did like about the teaser is a simplicity. That's what I love about Halloween 1978. It's just a simple story about a man killing folks. You know, there's no, no um, rhyme or reason to it, right? Very simple premise. It's not, uh, you know, and obviously as the franchise went on, it got crazy. He got cursed by a cult. He, you know, he's coming back. He's getting shot. And, you know, all that stuff. It got, it got wicked. It got wild. But the simple aspect of the first one is what i liked about this trailer it's a very simple you know it's laurie strode versus michael myers um it, it's and and and, and you know what we're going to bring up you know here i'll bring this i don't know if you all saw or read and, and shout out to uh 3c films who we've had on the channel in the past he did a great breakdown and in his breakdown he brought up the fact that hey a lot of the film, or I should say at least what we can expect in the film, as you all can see on the screen now, this is from the, the actual trailer from the um, YouTube channel on uh, Universal. You know, four years after the events of the last Halloween film, Halloween Kills, Lori is living with her granddaughter, Allison, and uh, she's finishing a memoir, which is very interesting. Lori writing those bars, getting those book sales. Uh, Michael hasn't been seen since, so it's been four years. So we're going to get a big time jump, which I remember they said, uh, you know, about a couple months ago. So. So that is confirmed. We're, we're jumping four years ahead from Halloween Kills. Um, Lori, after allowing uh, Michael Myers to determine and drive and, and her reality in decades, being kind of warped within the obsession with Michael, she has finally embraced a new life. But when a young man, Corey Cummington, um, is accused of killing a boy he was babysitting, it ignites a, a cascade of violence and terror and will force Lori to finally confront the evil she could control once and for all so that is an official synopsis for halloween ends they don't sound like they're ending to me because it sounds like they're setting the seeds planting the seeds for maybe a continuation with this Corey individual who is in a trailer i wish i had a screenshot of it but there is an individual who again you 3c films great breakdown channel he showed the screenshot of the young man it seems like that might be their kind of you know, alley-oop, lay up behind the back, no look pass to continue in this franchise with this Corey character. Now, again, the the theory, the you know, the prediction of it all, he didn't kill the kid that he was babysitting. It was actually Michael Myers. But then it makes me wonder, wait, if Michael's been gone for four years, why is he now all of a sudden killing this random kid, right? There's a shot in the sewer, and in a lot of us that have seen the franchise, there are some similarities. I think it was Halloween 4 where Michael was – wounded very badly and was you know in the sewers for a while and got you know he recouped himself and after halloween kills he got his ass beat so it's <laughs> four years it makes it very real because he got his he it was some very unrealistic things that he was able to do after being shot and stabbed and hit in the face multiple times but you know he took those four years to recoup so i'm very intrigued to know Lori's moved on michael's moved on but this Corey individual did he kill this kid? Is he a copycat killer of a sorts? Again, if he is reliving this Michael Meyer nightmare of a dream of a sorts, you know, Michael was a kid when he killed that kid. So I, I'm very intrigued to see what they're doing with this Corey character. If this is going to be the continuation, passing the baton to have, you know, this Corey individual be the next uh, Michael Myers, which again, seeing these shots from the trailer here. And also, like I said, shout out to 3C Films. Let me move this banner here. <clears throat> One of the things he pointed out, if you guys can see it on the screen now, let me move this other one here he had pointed out that you know obviously in halloween 2018 laurie shot like three of his fingers off and as you all can see on the screen you know his hand he has all five of his fingers um so that kind of alludes to maybe that michael that we see on the screen now isn't our michael but instead it's this you know copycat killer of a sort so <sighs> That'll be interesting. I don't know. Again, just give me Lori versus Michael, which we see in the trailer here, which, I mean, if I'm being honest with you all, no disrespect to the queen of horror, uh, my favorite scream queen of all time, but Lori shouldn't last more than two seconds. <laughs> if she's going, if she's, you know, squaring up, she about to, you know, get down with Michael. That don't seem too real, but 
in all theaters, Michael is, you know, pushing probably like 70 years old. So we got two, you know, elderly folks fighting, but he's still the shape, right? He's still the boogeyman. So I'm very intrigued to see how they wrap things up, wrap things up. We'll see. I think there's more to the franchise, especially if it makes the money that I know it probably will make. But I'm still excited. Like I told y'all, I'm very aware of the uh, inconsistency within this franchise and kind of the um, the the ridiculousness of it all and kind of the lacklusterness of it all. But I'm still here for it, right? I wouldn't call it a guilty pleasure because they're, like I said, my favorite film, uh, horror film of all time lays within this franchise. So there is good to be had in this franchise. Um, and, and, you know, even with the, the faults of the last one, I still think uh, David Gordon Green, if I'm not mistaken, or Seth, I, I always, there's so many Seths and Greens and all that stuff. But the director, I think he <clears throat> he's shown us he can do a good Halloween film in 2018. And there's elements in Halloween Kills that he did a good job in. So I'm hopeful as a fan of the franchise. I like the teaser. Very curious to see what they're going to do with this whole copycat killer potentially. Could be wrong. Could have been Michael. But again, why now? Why is Michael? Kill- Excuse me. Why is he? I mean, maybe he's fully recouped he's like let's go it's that time of the year got my fingers wrapped up got my you know my eye that was taken out you know i'm i'm good coach put me in so we'll see man coming out october what 14th i think is the uh official release date it should be on the poster maybe not but i think it's uh, the 14th october 14th later this year so less than what four months away for the for the last halloween we'll see we'll see for blumhouse at least but before we move on to the comic booky stuff Let's see what you all are talking about in the ch 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 chat All right, let's see here. Um, appreciate the love. Got some people showing some love. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Um, big fan. I like the fifth album. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I'm a fan of it. Thoughts on Mars Attacks? Um, yes, the uh, Sigourney Reaver's in there, right? The a little funny it's like a satire comedy this is a, i haven't seen it in a while but i enjoyed it when i was younger i haven't seen it in a long time no uh i think most of read it yeah he's great that's the uh uh benjamin did um the it franchise right he works with Andy muschietti a lot yeah i like him as a composer very underrated i definitely agree with you he's, he's fantastic <clears throat> favorite movie set in new york Ooh. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of good ones, man. It's the, it's the Mecca. Um, geez, that's a great question. I don't know. I'm let me throw out Wolf of Wall Street. I don't know. I, that's a, I, that's my scapegoat. I love that film. By the way, I'm, just, I'm not just saying it just to say that. I actually, it's like one of my favorite films of all time. So I'm gonna go with Wolf of Wall Street. Um, really work. Well, yeah, they do. They really do. Um, let's see. Let me see. Let me get to the Halloween questions here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um. I'm way behind. I'm way behind the chat. My bad, guys. Let's see. Uh, Spartan with the super chat. Love your channel and content, especially horror coverage. And we, listen, horror 2022 is going down. It's going down, especially um, with Halloween coming out. Congrats on 30K and the growth and success. 2023 about to be lit. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, Spartan, number one, great comment. Love the support. Uh, love the super chat. Love uh, uh, the horror commentary you brought in there i love horror again that's my favorite genre uh followed by sci-fi and then action and comedy and drama and whatnot so yeah i love horror and i and i love talking horror on the channel i'm gonna um i want to bring a lot more horror to the channel because again i'm such a big fan of it i love being uh in that mindset of being fearful and scared and making you think about you know all stuff especially the older i've gotten supernatural stuff has gotten me a little bit more than when i was younger um so yeah i love horror man and i can't wait to dive into it more uh later this year uh but thank you so much for the super chat um congrats your suggestions got me busy. ah appreciate you kevin yeah man it's some good stuff out there we're living in the golden age of tv bro with uh you know all the, the streaming services and, and the the um, the production values. Don't you hate when you have like this, like a um, Jesus? Look at that. But anyway, um, yeah, TV's my 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 jam, man. Obviously, I love movies, movie files. But yes, I'm I'm a big fan of a lot of the shows we've been got getting with Apple and you know, of course, HBO. Um. Occasionally Netflix, Hulu, and so on and so forth. So yeah, I, I thank you for taking the suggestions of the shows I recommend. That's, that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, 
Um, wow, Andrew, never liked the Halloween movies. Well, well, you know what, my friend? Shame on you. No, I'm joking. I know it's not for everyone. Um, but you know, Michael's my guy. He's my guy. What can I say? What can I say? Eh? Um, let's see. I'm definitely a Halloween fan. That's what's up. They messed up the last one. I agree. Hopefully the, the last one's better. Uh, the next one's better. Lori out here at the hospital kicking. Yes, Lori's out here. She, you know, she's she's saying the trailer, you know, keeping it PG, but she's like, I got you. Yeah, you know, I'm like, okay, Lori. And also shout out to the uh attention to detail. You know, she's wearing the uh, um the same wardrobe or the same um you know outfit essentially that she wore in the 20 uh, or 20 the 1978. So I like that. So I like that. So yeah, I'm excited for Lori to get down with the get down and uh you know, like I said, suspending disbelief because honestly, Lori shouldn't last more than like two seconds with Michael. But you know, we're gonna leave that for uh, you know, we'll leave the brain at the front door and just enjoy the kills, right? Because <laughs> if you start putting logic into this franchise, you you you're gonna go crazy. You're gonna go crazy. You're gonna end up in the in a site war. Um, let's see here. Um, favorite western. Um, I'm not a big western guy, but I'll probably go with um. Tombstone, um, yeah, probably go that. Or you know what? Just to modernize it, uh, modern, you know, more recent film within the last twenty years. No Country from Old Man. I love that film. Uh, da, 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 favorite Afterlife movie? Ooh, Afterlife. Coco. I go Coco. Uh, remember me. I love that film. Brings the tears to the eyes. Scariest movie I've seen as a kid was Terminator 1. That was a good one. You know, that was a good film. Good call there. Really great film. Um, let's see. Adam, what inspired you to begin reviewing movies and shows? Thanks for uh, turning on a lot of shows. Like, oh, that's what's up, Adam. Shout out to you for being here tonight and showing some love. Um, so I went to, for, for, for you all that, don't, that do not know, uh, I went to film for film and video. I went to film for film and video. Jesus. I went to school for film and video back in college. Uh, took some classes in high school too. And this has always been a, fa a fan of just escapism and and, and being, uh, you know, uh, evoking those emotions of, of scares and thrills. And, and the older I've gotten, I love thought provoking movies and inspiring movies and, and, and movies that shine a light on, on uh, you know, things that we deal with as a humanity. So, I just love that idea of, of the creative process of putting together something that can invoke those emotions. So uh, always been a fan of film and, and especially TV, you know, especially now, like I just mentioned, TV has gotten such um, the, the boost in productions and, and, and all the stuff that we've seen and, and, and the looks and the feels and the projects that have been put out from filmmakers that were scared to be on the small screen now embrace the small screen because they know they can tell stories in a longer format and maybe get more eyes on the project than they would have uh, if they went to t the movie route, which we know, you know, not a lot of movies don't get made because of the the lack of imagination from producers and studios and rightfully so these are big dollars that put people are putting up there but um yeah i just love the imagination of, of creating something that you know invokes emotions so um yeah that got me into it and like i said went to school for it and, and just love it just love talking about it so shout out to you adam i'm, I'm glad you like my recommendations um 70 year old boogeyman right andrew it's just like they're gonna be fighting with a cane in, in the next one so we'll see <laughs> Um, let's see here. Nicole, thank you, Nicole. Appreciate you. Uh, and again, we got we're, we're an hour in. Time flies when you're having fun. Um, so I hope you all are having fun. All 35 of you all that are watching live, thumbs up, share it, keep dropping your comments in the in the in the comments here. Shout out to the replay gang. Um, and thank you again. We 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 talked about the growth of the channel up top. We we were we're talking about Halloween now. Uh, we talked a little bit about nope, and we're gonna switch over to my to my comic book fans. We're gonna talk a little bit about Comic Con here in a bit, but shout out to every one of you all showing some love today. Um, let's see, let's see. Nicole says, I'm so late. I didn't know. Yeah, coming out this 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 Halloween, October 14th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yo, this is the homie. This is the homie, Amanda Candid Cinemas. Uh, what an awesome individual. I've had the pleasure and the honor to be able to chop it up with her this last year. Myself, her, and Chris, we've really uh um 
some, had some fun this last year uh, with Marvel content. If you all don't know, I'm sure if you're here, you do know we, we cover a lot of Marvel stuff. We do the live streams. We do the the, the um, spoiler reviews on the Marvel content. Uh, Amanda is my fellow DC fan, uh, and, and she's just a, such a great individual. Check her out. Her YouTube channel, as you all can see, is here. Um, great uh, a follow on Twitter and Instagram as well. I see she's on the TikToks as well. So I uh, couldn't say more great things about the individual that uh, you all see on the screen now, which is uh, Candace Cinema's Amanda. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm a big fan of Michael, but uh, the early days, the kills in the reading style was a bit too much. Well, rightfully so. I get you. I get you. Um, I hear you. I hear you. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, pivot. Let's pivot on over to some uh, comic book stuff because y'all know I love me some comic book stuff, right? Marvel, DC, more of a DC guy growing up, you know, when I used to read comics, DC was my jam. Um, but I love Marvel. I love me some Marvel too, especially the MCU. We, we know what they're doing, which is a big thing. So let's go ahead and talk Marvel and talk about Comic-Con. So if you all do not know, I made a little, you know, a little short video on the YouTube shorts a couple, uh, about a week ago um regarding some of the rumors out there we love rumors because they tend to not be true when they get us excited we end up being sad when it doesn't come true but we're talking comic-con again this is another bucket list thing i would love to be uh you know i don't do the cosplay thing but hey who knows if i get out there maybe i'll find a little costume to dress up as but uh we got comic-con that starts officially today you know we got the dungeons and dragons trailer they dropped we got the teen wolf i don't know if there's any teen wolf fans out there we got that trailer uh and then tomorrow i think is some um i think it is tv stuff i think game of thrones and and um lord of rings is tomorrow and then saturday is the big day it's when the big boys come to play and that's where we're talking about now Let's talk Marvel. So again, I made a short video a couple about a week ago in regards to a particular leak. You know, we talked about it on Brandon's show on Sunday um, as well. And I don't know if you all can see it. I'm sorry if it's small, um, but this is essentially the, the the leaked rumor that of things that are to expect it to be uh, in front of the audience on Saturday, which is if you all can see that they're they're rumored to be the Deadpool three announcement with the uh, you know Sean Livy as the director. Obviously, Ryan Reynolds coming back. They are, which I'm pretty confident we're going to get some Deadpool news on Saturday. Uh, but also speaking of confidence, I'm pretty sure Black Panther is going to have a presence. Um, a teaser, a trailer, uh, as well as the reveal of Namor, and there might be something Chadwick Boseman related, I would imagine. Uh, I, and I said it on Brandon's channel, and I said it in my short, I don't see too many TV news dropping over this weekend, because I think they're going to save the TV stuff for D23, rightfully so, Disney Plus, this is a Disney-only event, so I expect the, the TV news to be held for D23, I, I believe is in September. Um, so I don't see anything coming from Secret Evasion. Blade... Let me move this. I expect some Blade news. And the reason I say that is because if we go back in a time machine, 2019 in particular, Kevin Feige wrapping up the, you know, we got mutants. He says mutants. You know, he puts the logo for the Fantastic Four. He gives the, you know, Taika Waititi gives Mirnir to uh, Jane Foster, uh, Natalie Portman. We got the Eternals cast. Uh, it, was, it was big stuff. Big stuff they did three years ago. But then they said, wait a minute. We got a little announcement for you all, you know, Daywalker, you know, they ring out my man, Mahersh Mahershal Ali, uh, introduces Blade and they see, you know, they get everyone excited. Ah, Blade, we're so excited. I was super excited. I'm a Blade fan, I'm a vampire fan, horror, you know, go back to that. Uh, but it's been three years, you know, and, and as the three years have moved along, we've gotten a director whose name is not coming to me because he's a, you know, not a known actor, which is fine. I always give people their opportunities and, and give them a chance to, to give us something special. We got a new director on the scene, you know, again, Academy, a two-time Academy Award winning Mahershal Ali coming into the role as Blade. Uh, and there's other supporting cast members, uh, Aaron Pierre, who I am such a fan of. Didn't like old. I thought he was okay in it. But I, if you all haven't seen um, Amazon Prime last year, Underground Railroad, uh, Barry Jenkins phenomenal uh one of my favorite shows of last year hard watched it's, you know obviously the subject matter uh slavery but it's it's a phenomenal show so it's, it's his best work to date and i'm a big barry jenkins fan but neither here nor there aaron pierre is great um i think my man uh delroy um Leroy Del Del Ray is in this film uh my man from you know all the spike lee films and all he's a great actor um and then there's rumors let me bring that back up that 
Homelander, Anthony Starr, might be Dracula. Might be. I don't care if he's Dracula. I don't care if he is playing Eddie Murphy's vampire from, you know, Brooklyn. Um, I don't care. I do not care. If we get Anthony Starr in the Blade film, most anticipated film of next year. <laughs> I'm already a vampire fan. I'm already a Blade fan. You know, I love Marvel. Anthony Starr as Homelander as in The Boys is another level of villain. And if he can bring just an ounce of that to the MCU, <clears throat> we're looking at something special. Again, it's a rumor. Nothing's confirmed. But if they, man, I'm telling you right now, if they bring out Anthony Starr as the villain in Blade, it's 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 going to be champagne popping over here, I'll tell you that much. But uh, so I'm really, I, I do expect some type of Blades. And, and the reason I said that I do expect Blade presence to be at Comic-Con because they ended it in 2019 introducing him. So I think it's only, you know, right to bring him back out three years later to show what they've been doing these last three years, which I don't think they've started shooting the movie, but I do expect, you know, concept art, bringing out the cast, Anthony Starr. Fingers crossed. But uh, the rest of the stuff here, I think, yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say the Marvels is going to have a presence, especially with Miss um, Marvel just ending. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get like a – the film's already shot too, by the way. It's coming out top of next year. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get like at least a teaser from that and bringing out all the Marvels, you know, Brie Larson, uh, Tiana Paris, and obviously uh, Amala um, – Iman uh, Vellani, who plays uh, Kamala Khan. Uh, again, World War Hulk is a TV show. I don't think they're going to say anything about the Hulk, especially with She-Hulk coming out, which I do think, I think they've confirmed actually that She-Hulk will have a presence at Comic-Con because that's going to be the next Marvel project. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, yes to that one. I wish I would have brought up the the um, the video, but uh, Will Palmer, who's playing uh, Adam Warlock, he said, he didn't explicitly say, yeah, we're going to be there at Comic-Con, but he kind of hinted at that we can expect some type of Guardians of the Galaxy presence this weekend. So I definitely expect James Gunn to bring out the whole crew for that. Ant-Man, that's the next big one, right? I said, Miss Marvel, no, it's it's Ant-Man coming out in February, and I think the Marvels is coming out in July, so a year from now. So I do think definitely some Ant-Man stuff. And as the, the rumor says, Kang and, you know, Casey, uh, Cassie Lang and all that stuff. I, I do expect some Ant-Man stuff this weekend. Um, what else do we have here? Wonder Man, now that's a TV show. Again, if there, if this rumor is to be true, I expect that to be announced at D23. And then the last one, yeah, Daredevil D23. Um, but then <laughs> an article came out. So I say all this to say this. An article came out yesterday from Deadline, you know, very reliable source. They said, hey, listen, guys, you might want to pump the brakes because apparently Marvel is not going to bring – not even half the stuff I just showed you all. Apparently, I think She-Hulk is a guarantee and Black Panther is a guarantee. If we get that, that's fine. I'm, listen, I'm not even there, so I'm not mad at Marvel for not. I do feel bad for the people that's like really getting hyped up if if all those rumors, you know, all the rumors has been out there. But apparently, the only thing Marvel is going to bring to D23 or uh, Comic-Con uh, Saturday is She-Hulk and um, Black Panther, which, again, that's exciting, but not as exciting as, you know, Blade announcement, which I do feel, and, and to take that, you know, again, variety or deadlines, very reliable. I do think there's going to be more. Again, Will Palmer came out yesterday and said Guardians are going to be, he didn't explicitly say it, but he hinted at it. I think Guardians are going to be there. I think ant is going to be there. I think the Marvel's going to be there. I think it just makes sense to have Blade there. He was there three years ago. Why wouldn't you update the people? You end the show with Blade. Why don't you start the show with Blade, right? Or maybe end it again with him. Uh, that would be pretty cool if they did that, actually. Um, and so, yeah, I think Marvel's going to have some big stuff. Even, you know, even with Deadline coming out, popping that balloon, I think they're going to drop some bombs. Now, can bombs be the cast of Fantastic Four? We'll see. Can a bomb be the X-Men, how they're going to bring them in, and that they're working on the mutants, I think is the rumor title for that? We'll see. Um, can a bomb be, um, you know, a form of, I don't know, what's the other big, more, uh, you know, secret wars is where they're headed towards phase five type of, you know, planting the seeds for that. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, expect some some type of coverage. Let me know. Again, we got 40 people watching live. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up, share all that good stuff. Let me know if you would like some type of coverage. Now, I do plan on making like little short videos if we do get Anthony Starr as Dracula. <laughs> that would be crazy. But I do expect to do some type of coverage for uh comic-con this weekend like i said short form content but as far as long form content let me know if you guys would like to do like a a live stream 
maybe Saturday uh, or maybe even Sunday, like a recap. I know, um, you know, um, the news will be out Saturday. D, we're going to talk about DC here in a second, but let me know if that's something you guys would be into, like a long form conversation about what we do get over the weekend. Uh, but again, like I said, keep an eye out for the short form content uh, as far as uh, shorts and all that good stuff. So before we pivot over to my you know, my camp, which is D.C., and, you know, D.C. ain't great. It ain't great. I know, guys. I'm very aware of our shortcomings, but one can hope, and we're going to talk about hope. That's a very good segue for this uh, rumor that came out the other day, but um, let me see what you guys are talking about here before we uh, move over to D.C. stuff. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, we got some congrats again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I need mutants. Amanda needs those mutants. I think we might be getting, I mean, you know, there was something that came out not too long ago, Amanda, that we, I don't want to spoil for people that haven't watched it yet, but yeah, I think we, we might be getting some more mutants sooner rather than later. I want Anthony Starr nominated for it. Yeah, you know, what a what a uh, what a great season of the boys and man, Anthony Starr, the man in the mirror moment. Him and uh, Ryan, him and his daddy. Oh, man, it was such a great... I love the boys. I love Anthony Starr. The dude's a fantastic actor. Favorite vampire movie. Ooh, favorite vampire movie. There's some good ones. Like I said, Blade. I love the first... I love the second one, too. The action pack. I love uh, Guillermo's take on, on vampires. Um, Man, you put me on the spot. Favorite vampire. I, I'm a big 80s fan of The Lost Boys. I think that's a great, you know, fun... Uh, vampire movie, um, man, I'm gonna I'm be generic as hell. I'm gonna go Blade. <laughs> I'm gonna go first, second Blade. I'm gonna go second. No, nah, there's, there's got to be something else out there. E, come on. I'm trying to get in the catalog. I'm trying to go into the to my favorite vampire movie. Let me let me cheat for a second. Let me look up the, some of the more well known vampire movies because I can't think of anything off top. There's some good ones, man. Some really um, old school ones too. Best vampire. Like I said, I'm gonna go with Blade 2 for right now because I remember seeing that in theaters. Oh, Morbius, Morbius. What am I? What, I don't even need to look this up. It's Morbius. It's what I believe you're talking about. It's Morbius. It's the best. Well, first off, it's the greatest movie of all time. Uh, first and foremost, but as far as yeah, vampires movies, it's Morbius. Hey, that was easy. I don't, man, all day, all day. It's more for time, baby. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm hoping the Black Panther 2. Yeah, me too, Andrew. Me too. And we talked about it, but me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag recast T'Challa. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> All right. DC. All right. You know, let's let's go ahead and let's let's make that pivot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and switch things up. You know, we talk some Marvel. Let me know it again for those watching replay in the chat and all that good stuff, which you all hope to see Comic Con 2022 from Marvel. But um, forget Marvel. Let's talk DC. Let me uh, let me let me switch the background for you all right quick before we can get into the mood. So as far as you know, we got Shazam, we got Black uh, Black Adam. They are confirmed. You know, DC has come out. Even I have a some more confirmation for you all. Even on the official website, DC has come out and said that we can expect to get uh, as far as Hall H goes this Saturday from ten fifteen to eleven fifteen. Uh, Warner Brothers Pictures will be returning to Comic Con uh, San Diego with the studio, and uh, as you can see, the lineup is Black Adam and Shazam: A Fury of the Gods. We can expect The Rock to be there. Shout out to The Rock, the People's Champ, Zachary Levi, and more. So, um, and more. I wonder what they can be referring to when it becomes uh, talking about more people being there. We'll get to that in a second. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm a DC fan, man. Listen, I don't want to bore you all, but uh, the man has hope that we can figure it out. It's been a tough almost 10 years. You know, Men of Steel, which we'll talk about him here in a second. Uh, classic film. That's my Superman, if you all didn't know. Henry Cavill's my guy. No disrespect to Christopher Reed's legend. Legend. Love 77 78 um superman superman 2 is great sequel you know three four five you know another day we'll leave that for another day uh brandon roof is a, is a solid superman i haven't watched uh tyler heckler hecklin i think that's his name i haven't watched it but i heard it's good on cw um but henry's my guy henry's my guy that's for sure. Uh, and DC, man, uh, again, I just love the characters. I love the mythology. You know, I love the the Trinity. 
Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. I'm talking about Ezra, but I'm talking about the Flash. I'm a Flash fan. <laughs> I love the Justice League and all that stuff, man. It's great, great mythology, great lore. And they're just more of the, the superheroes I gravitate towards. So I'm hopeful. We've had some some f ups to say the least. Management in and out of the hot chair. Some very just weird things going on behind the scenes stuff. Zach Snyder, we all know about that history. Um, you know the Ray Fisher situations out there. Amber Heard's, Ezra Miller's. I mean, it's just like, damn. Can we just like find some type of W's? And we have, man. To be fair, in the last, you know. The Batman came out this year. Fantastic. Very excited to see more from Matt Reeves and that world, uh, uh, Pattinson and all that stuff. Um, sue me. I like Aquaman. I like the first Aquaman. It made a billion dollars. That film was gorgeous to look at. Some of the coolest like superhero like visuals I've ever seen, especially the trench. So sue me. I like Aquaman. Um, the Joker, great film. Haven't revisited it that much. It was one of my top films of 2019, but I don't. It's a hard watch, right? It's pretty. It's a pretty dark film, but I'm. Uh, you know, that was a W in my book. Um, you know, TV show, Peacemaker. Who would have? When they announced Peacemaker, whenever that was, to 2021, I think at the Fandom, I'm like, dude, who the? F no, 2020. Who cares about a damn Peacemaker? But then they switch it up on me. When you see the Suicide Squad, you know, you're like, that's an interesting character. And then by all means, James Gunn put his foot in that show. That show was fire, dude. I love Peacemaker. We we covered that on the channel too. If you guys are interested in checking out those those reviews, but um, so there's some there's some good, there's a lot of bad. But I'm hopeful, man. And, and let's let's transition and talk about the next big thing, which is this man here and uh, the Black Adam and the JSA, ladies and gentlemen, the Justice Society of America. We have Adam Smasher. We got my man Dark Fate. We got my man Hawkman. Uh, we got, uh, I believe her name is Cyclone. I'm not too familiar with that character, if I'm being honest. But the trailer is looking good. The cast is looking fire. And this dude right here. Listen, before your boy, you know, Back in the day, wrestling. Wrestling was my thing, and particularly The Rock, the people's champ. Uh, you know, Generation X, you know, the uh the attitude era. Man, I was I was big, big into wrestling, but the rock was my guy. He was the people's champ, man. I was a big rock fan, Stone Cold fan. Uh, like I said, Generation X, Shawn Michaels, that whole you know, Undertaker, that whole gener like that whole thing, you know, suck it. You know, used to get the tension telling people, suck it. <laughs> Listen, talk about nostalgia, but I was a big rock fan, so I'm kind of biased. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm biased. I think everything the rock touches is gold. I'm lying, some of his movies are trash. So I'll be honest with you all, but the entertainer, the man, I don't know him personally. I'm just going off of what I've heard and what I've seen from the social media. And you know, he's an actor, you know, even wrestling requires acting. He might be a, a terrible person by all I know, but I don't think he is because I've heard great things about him. Um, I'm rooting for The Rock. I'm rooting for this movie. This film has been in production since 1975. Uh, it's, it's the longest running production of all time. He announced that he was going to be Black Adam. Like, I'm not even joking, like 10 years ago. It's finally here. It is finally here. We are less than four months away, and I'm really very hopeful for this film. I mean, the man is born to play a hero or a, an anti-hero in this case. And, and again, I love the visual design, the flair, the grittiness, the, the you know, I kill, you know, not su su superheroes don't kill. Well, I do. You know, I like that, man. And again, I think people forget because we've seen The Rock and these more, you know, uh, he's the hero of the story, right? He's a good guy, right? We, we, we rarely see the bad guy, right? But again, I go back to, from our wrestling fans out there and people are like concerned that, you know, there's too much, He's he's always a good guy, right? He's always a good guy. But I I, I mind you again from a wrestler fans when he used to, the Rock can play that heel. He can be the bad guy. I've seen it many times. He plays those storylines. He's very believable. I hate it. Well, I never hate the Rock because the Rock's my guy. But I was like, man, I wish the Rock would turn again and be the, the people's champ. So, but I'm well, I say all that to say he can get to those depths. He can go gritty. He can get dark. He can do those things. So. I have faith in him, even though I know, you know, Tooth Fairies of the World and some of the Fast and Furious films, you know, don't really require a lot from him. But I believe in The Rock. He's the people's champ, if I have to remind you all. So I'm very excited to see him born and play the role. But uh, listen, <clears throat> growing up, I've read DC comics, but in particularly, you know, playing the DC video games, Dr. Fate would body Dr. Strange, body him, no questions asked. 
and if you all know me, I'm not a big Doctor Strange fan as far as MCU is concerned. Um, you got my man Chris Bronzman playing Doctor Fate. It's 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 a perfect fit. And the JSA, I'm here for it. So as you all can see, I'm very hopeful for it. I'm very excited for it. The only thing that just like tunes down my level of excitement, the guy on his left. Uh, it's going to take a lot to sell me that that guy, no disrespect, Zachary Levi, you know, I, I enjoyed your first film. You know, it's fun. It's cute. Kitty, you know, all that stuff. But I don't see cute, friendly, fun when I look at Black Adam. How are they going to fight? <laughs> you know, we talked about Michael Myers and Laurie earlier, you know, not being a fair fight. Damn. How is Zach? With, now, listen, I know he got a Shazam family, and I know, you know, you know, there's hope, but I, I just, and I'm being serious, I just don't see it on a on a performance level. Like, no disrespect to Zachary Levi. I, I like him. I, you know, I've seen Chuck great in that show, and I've seen Shazam. You know, he's a, he's a fun guy, but we're talking Black Adam, and I don't think he's standing a chance. He's, they're going to really have to boost him in his next film, which is Shazam Theory of the Gods. Um, we got the Shazam family back. We got uh, <laughs> Sandberg in this one. Uh, we got David F. Sandberg coming back, directing this film. Again, we got the family back and all that stuff. Uh, you know, it comes out in December, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Excited, maybe not the word I would use, but intrigued. I'm intrigued because, again, the first one was fun. It was a nice Christmas story, you know, Billy and his mom, Billy and the foster family. It was a, a cute film. And, again, um, uh, my man Armstrong, can't think of his first name right now, Mark Armstrong as Dr. Savannah. I, I really enjoyed him. I hope, Hopefully they bring him back. I know they got uh, Helen Mirren and in, in, in Lucy Liu in this one um, and um, Rachel Ziegler, I believe is her name. So, I mean, it has all the ingredients to be a fun film. But again, I'm thinking about the the larger picture. And it's inevitable that these two will come cross paths. But as of right now, like I said, I just don't see this guy going against this guy. I, I don't see it, which is a perfect segue into, man, you know, I don't see him going against Black Adam. I don't think it's a fair fight. I don't think that the Zachary Levi is on, on par with, you know, uh, The Rock as far as the acting chops. And I, I just don't, you know, he's going to need his family and some. He's going to need the Justice League. He's going to need Batman. He's going to need another individual. There was a rumor a couple days that came out. Again, rumor, right? We, 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 we don't get too hyped about rumors. We get excited. We talk about it, right? But we don't really dive into it and, and, and pull all of our eggs in that basket. <laughs> But there's a rumor out there, and I told you all how I felt about a certain individual and that I'm hopeful. Zach, you're going to need some help if you're going against Black Adam, bruh. And this, that help comes in the form of Kal-El. There's a rumor out there that came out a couple days ago that that man on the screen now, Henry Cavill, who I have been dying to come back in the role. Been well, I haven't been praying, but you know what I mean. I'm a fan. It came out the other day that there might be, and again, let me bring this up again. DC's panel includes Black Adam, Shazam, Fury of the Gods, with huge stars, Dwayne, The Rock Johnson. I wouldn't say Zachary Levi, like a huge star, but that's another story for another day. And more. Now, of course, and more is, a, is, is probably alluding to the JSA characters. You know, more is probably alluding to the Shazam family, I get that. But what if more is applying to this guy? Now, again, I know Deadline came out the other day and they kind of clarified things like the chance of him coming to Comic-Con is pretty slim because apparently he's shooting The Witcher, which I'm a big fan of that show, covered with both seasons, very big fan of that show. Toss a coin to you, which is a very great show. Apparently he's shooting season three in the UK, so it's pretty hard to be in two places at one time. It can be done. Airplanes, helicopters, private jets. He is Superman. He can fly. So it's a possibility. Um, but they're saying it's slim. <laughs> I don't know about all that, man. I, I, I it's a it's a fill in the air. It's hope, right? It's the, it's the S on the chest, which stands for hope. If Henry Cavill video form or comes out on stage, 
because I, I would think I know Black Adam comes out first and then Shazam comes out after that. But I would prefer if Shazam presentation was first and then Black Adam for the simple fact that and then maybe bring them out stage. They have a little standoff and you can see Zach, how small Zachary Levi is compared to The Rock. And then Zachary Levi acknowledges he's like, man, you're pretty big, Rock. You know, I got my family here. You know, we have our chances, but I don't know if we can win without a particular individual. And if Zachary Levi alludes to that individual being his hero in the story, in the narrative, in the canon, which is Superman, I don't care what Marvel drops on Saturday. Bring out Fantastic Four. Bring out X-Men. Bring out the next Avengers. You know, the Russo brothers are back, you know. If Henry Cavill steps on stage, that is a game changer for me. Because again, I told y'all, I already gave you my whole, you know, life story of how I'm a DC fan, how I'm hopeful. Henry Cavill's my guy. That's that. That's a that's a, a, a break the internet moment for me in my eyes. No, no, not everyone's a fan of Man of Steel. Not everyone's a fan. I get it. I get it. But I am. So if they do that on Saturday, you might see a video or two. You might even hear me from wherever you are in the world, filled with excitement. So. One can only dream. I know it's, it's slim because we it, it, every now and every couple of years, you know, Henry Cavill and, and The Rock, they're sitting down drinking tequila. And that, you know, that was four years ago. Um, you know, Henry Cavill's rumored to be back talking to Warner Brothers with the role of, of Man of Steel, you know. You know, you see that every so often. So who knows? Maybe the 99th time of him being rumored to be back might come true. It just takes that one time. And it might be this Saturday. So let me know if you all are excited for that. For um, you know, possibility of Henry Cavill. The first probably trailer of uh Shazam, uh, probably another trailer of Black Adam, and obviously bringing out the JSA. Um, of course, you know, let me know how you all feel about Marvel. Do you want to see Blade? Do you want to see Black Panther? Do you want to see Ant-Man Quantum Manium? Let me know how you all are feeling about all that stuff in there. And we're gonna wrap things up. I, again, this is so much fun. I, again, thank you for the 30,000 subscribers and continue to grow the channel. Thank you all for the love and support, the thumbs up, the chairs, the great comments, the super chats, the love. It means a lot and it doesn't go um, unnoticed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but before we head out, we're going to touch on some TV stuff before we head out. So again, I appreciate you all. Uh, let me get to, to the, to, uh, the comments and then we're going to pivot over to some TV stuff and then we're going to wrap it up because I know some people are probably going to be seeing Nope uh, at seven. So I don't want to keep you guys too low, too low, too low. All right. Let me catch up. Let me see. You guys are dropping some, some fire comments. So let me see where we were last at. Trailers, trailers, trailers. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get some. We're gonna get some. Uh, let's see here. I hope there is a way to check out the house. There, I don't think there is. I don't think they're showing any of the live panels. Uh, unfortunately, I could be wrong, but I I don't think they they will be. But I would imagine, you know, there's people with their cell phones probably record it, and by Sunday we'll probably get like some janky. I don't know. I might be wrong though. I don't I don't think they normally put out too many of those panels. Uh, but I hope so because I am. We'll talk about House of the Dragons here in a bit. Um, DC been doing good last couple. Yeah, and like I see, yep. Uh, perfectly said. Uh, there's no wrong time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maurice, he's the best. Shazam was the greatest surprise with DC. I mean, I love it. it. I enjoyed it, man. Like I said, I haven't revisited that film too often, but I had fun with it, right? Fun. And it's good to have fun. He's he's the ant. He's equivalent to Shazam's presence in the DCEU to me is how I felt about Ant Man. Fun family film. Don't take it too seriously. Um, which is another conversation how I feel about Ant Man, Quantum Mania. I'm like y'all expect me to you know the same way I feel about Shazam going against Black Adam. Y'all expect me to think that Ant Man's going to go toe to toe with Kang. Ant Man's going to need Fantastic Four, X Men, Avengers to help him out in that fight. But yeah, I'm 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 intrigued to see what they do with Shazam with the second. He, Peacemaker, yeah, he is DC. Yep, it's a great show too. If you haven't watched it, I love Peacemaker. <clears throat> I want a I Spy book, Gotham City edition. Oh, that would be dope. That would be super dope. I'm. There probably is one out there. Yeah, Peacemaker was great. It was super good. Super super good. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I haven't. Like I said, I, I've I've seen it sooner than that because we did a wash along for the Joker, but that was like in 2020, I think. So it's been a couple of years since I've seen that. Yeah, the people's champ, man. If you smell, I love the Rock, man. I love that guy, man. That's like a, a man. If 
talk about dreams, man. If I ever met The Rock, man, I would I would probably pass out, bro. This is this, this one of my favorite entertainers ever. Peacemaker was great. Black Adam, I'm going to be official, but I just hope him. Kevin. Speaking my language, bro. You are speaking my language. I heard it was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know JSA was in that as well. Didn't see it, but I heard because I'm, I'm not a big CW. Well, it was on the DC app, and then it went to CW. Now I think it's back on HBO Max. I could be wrong. One of the things I didn't like about Peacemaker is some of the jokes ran. Yeah, I agree. Some of James Gunn's, he kind of kind of Taika Waititi-ish, where it's just like, all right, we get it. Let's go on to now. I get you. Now I get you. But it was still a fantastic show. Tony, let's, let's put it out there, bro. Let's put it out there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Johnny. Like, The Rock can get to those levels, man. The dude is a, again, wrestling. I don't want to, you know, Santa Claus isn't real. But wrestling, you know, it's it's staged to an extent. People get hurt. People have gotten hurt, like career-ending injuries. Like, so there is realism to some of the things. But also, it's a, it's a, it's a show. It's a soap opera, to be, to be frank. Um, they're acting. Right, and there's a lot of promos they cut, and the Rock's promos back in the day when he was the People's Champ was fantastic. But when he was, you know, part of the, um, uh, we are the nation, uh, you know, he he can get to those. He can be dark, man. He can he can get those levels. So I, I people are gonna be surprised when they see the Rock, you know, doing some things. 1975. It's it's been a minute. Uh, Black Adam has been in production for a while, I believe. Um, you know, it's been in production for. About 20 plus years. <laughs> I love when The Rock was the bad guy. Right? Those days, him, Stone Cold, and Mankind with the sock. Yes, Undertaker, uh, RIP uh, to Eddie Garrard. Man, that's what I'm telling you, Johnny. Back in the day. And I, I, I don't watch wrestling now. It could be great. You know, uh, Seth, uh, 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 whatever his name is, Seth something. I, I think he's the big guy now. Obviously, um, I don't, yeah, John Cena hasn't been wrestling. I, I'm out of the game. <laughs> like, I don't even know these people's names. I don't even know who the big who the big star is in wrestling. Like I, I haven't seen it in literally years. Uh, have you ever seen? Yeah, that's a great film. So great, he's a great actor, man. And again, I told you, I'm biased. Doctor Fate versus Crew. Ooh, now like I said, Doctor Fate is waxing in Doctor Strange, but Wanda warping reality. Yeah, I'm going Wanda. I'm sorry, Doctor Fate. I'm going Wanda. I'm I'm full on Wanda. Uh, or say Scarlet Witch. That's a good fight. I would love, what's that thing on YouTube where it's like celebrity, not celebrity fights, but like they like have people fighting from different animes and cartoons and stuff like that. I would love to see that. It, it might even be out there. I'm going to have to Google it. But I, mm, I'm going Scarlet Witch. I'm going Scarlet Witch. What's up, uh, Jenny? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, yeah, he is kind of obnoxious. I mean, uh, Zach Levi, I mean, no hate, but. Yeah, we'll see. The Rundown was a good movie, yeah. What's up, Ken? What's going on, bro? This is another great talk about horror. We talked about horror earlier, Ken, because we talked about the Halloween ends. This guy covers more than horror, but he is a, a big horror fan. Um, but also, he, him and his wife have their own YouTube channel. He has his own YouTube channel, as you guys can see his uh, handle there, uh, Mint Level Media. Uh, we talked Blu-rays earlier and how I, I've been kind of out of the game for a while, but this man is collecting stuff left and right, has a great community that he's building, so definitely check him out. Shout out to Ken. Hope you're doing good, man. Yeah, Run Down was such a good movie. Such a good movie. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> yes. Man, I'm going to, after this, I'm going to order some food. I'm going to, like, watch some YouTube videos of, like, back in the day with wrestling, man. It was some good stuff. That was some good entertainment. Uh, You can't do. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's not fair. I hope uh, that DC will get it right. Personally, we need more Zach. Yeah, that's a whole nother conversation, man. Whole nother conversation. But yeah, hopefully they can get it right. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, yeah. Toss a coin to your witcher. Yeah, bring them back. But of steals. <laughs> what up, B? We talked about you earlier, bro. Uh, how I'm just, you know, big fan of yours. Uh, uh, very happy to, uh, you know, be on your channel uh, when I can. And just uh, you're a dope individual. Shout out to Brandon, who just celebrated his birthday. Uh, check him out. Uh, weekly movie roundup. Uh, you know, he covers a lot of shows, a lot of movies, live streams. Just a great dude overall. So check him out. What's up to you, B? Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you had a good birthday, bro. 
Um, at this point, Kevin, um, I'm at the point now where if Cavill comes back, I'm good. But if he doesn't, I'm good. I got you. Tyler Hagman's been good. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. The Witchers, yeah. Well, no, I, the numbers are there. Hence why they're making season three. But uh, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't. I, I get what you mean. It doesn't have the, I, yeah, I definitely think The Witcher should be talked about a lot more. I, I, I know what you, yeah, I, I get you, Andrew. I, I love The Witcher. I love that show. It's great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, nice. Till next time, peace, man. Have a good time at the show. Uh, and appreciate you showing some love. Thank you for the super chat earlier, and uh, catch you on the next one, man. Appreciate you. That's yeah, I think Scarlet Witch got that W. All right, so we're gonna wrap things up. We uh, we're, we're approaching the hour and, and 40 minute mark, so let me you know, we cover TV here, we, we love TV here, we talk about it a lot here. Let's talk about these two shows. We got two big, gigantic, like huge shows coming to TV in the next uh, month. In that, let's let's uh, talk about it. House of the Dragons versus Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. I don't like that title. The Rings of Power. Sounds kind of cheesy. Um, but let's talk about it. First and foremost, your boy is a, uh, I've read like half of J.K. Tolkien's uh, First Lord of the Rings book. Unfortunately, didn't finish it. Um, but I understand what he meant to sci-fi, well, not sci-fi, but fantasy. Um, you know, one of the greatest storytellers, right? So I love, I would grab it. I have the, uh, let me let me grab, I'm going to show, let, Tony, if you're still here, I'm going to show off a little movie collection. Give me a second. All right, we're back. We're back. Let me pull up the camera. Mic check, mic check. You guys hear me? We're looking good, sounding good. Are we, are we all connected still? <clears throat> the precious. I get the precious. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, a game, I'm a Game of Thrones. We'll talk about that here in a second. I'm, I'm a Lord of the Rings fan. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen the films, um, but they're classics. One of the greatest trilogies of all time, if you ask me. Uh, big fan of it. So... The Hobbit, I've seen the first one, didn't see the second one. I think they did three of them, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I have them all. This is when I used to collect stuff without even watching them. Uh, but again, I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings. So when I heard they were making this show, I got excited. But then the more and more I saw things from it, I'm like, eh, I don't know. Eh, okay, sure. You know, we're going back to, you know. I think this takes place like 300 years before like the uh, the Hobbit, uh, which took place like 300 years before, you know, this story. Uh, I could be wrong with my uh, dates there. Just to let you guys know, I'm not, I haven't, you know, watched these in years. But anyway, this most recent trailer probably got me the most excited for it because it looked gorgeous. And, and we finally get the story when the ring crashed, um, you know, the elves and, and, and the beef they got going on with humanity and all that stuff. So it looks very intriguing. And also, you know, I, I love the look up behind the scenes. <clears throat> this is the most expensive show of all time. I, I, I think this is over. I think they said in total, it was a billion dollars to make this show, which is like like 50, 60, 80 million per episode. I think it's like 10 episodes. So it's... <laughs> The production is pretty crazy. Uh, but like I said, the trailer got me excited. I'm torn because I know, again, I know this is a very strong fandom. I'm torn on um, diving into the show. I'm going to probably, I'm going to watch it. But as far as coverage goes, I know sometimes people can be very particular about like not knowing, knowing the lore, not knowing all the characters' names. And I, I just don't know. I haven't really, on my channel here on YouTube, I haven't really dove in, into the JK uh, token of it all in this particular fandom. So I don't want to be looking silly out here in these streets. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But I will watch it. But the question is, will I cover it? Probably. I, I'm, you know, I'm, I have tough skin, man. I ain't gonna let no one, you know, this is the internet, you know, this isn't real life. So, um, 
we'll see about coverage, but I'm definitely going to watch it because I, 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 uh, I'm a fan of this lore. I'm a fan of fantasy, and I want to see what they have to offer. So let me know in the chat if you guys are excited for uh, Lord of the Rings and the Rings of Power. That just sounds so weird. Uh, it doesn't roll off the tongue well, but um, let me know if you guys are excited for that. But <clears throat> excitement. House of the Dragons. I know. I know. Season seven, season eight was a bit of a debacle. Wasn't good. Wasn't great. Pretty disappointing. I get it. <clears throat> I get all that. But we're talking dragons. We're talking Targaryens. We're talking, um, you know, politics. We're talking lords and queens and treachery and betrayal and backstabbing and making moves to the throne. Ah. <sighs> I'm really excited for House of the Dragons, man. Again, I know, I know what they did to us. Very aware of it. Still hurts the way that they did Khaleesi. Still hurts. You know, we got the Jon Snow show spinoff has been confirmed, but I'm excited for it, man. We got some great people involved. Uh, Miguel Shefik, I can't pronounce, I can't think of his full name, but he's he directed some of the best episodes of Game of Thrones. He's like the EP. He's the executive producer of this thing. He's directing it. He's, you know, writing in him and, um, you know, someone that uh, knows the lore. You know, George R. Martin's involved, which is always great to know the creator's involved. They have his approval. He's been a part of the, I think he was part of the script writing, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is great because this is his world. This is his baby. He knows the ins and outs of it. So the authenticity of the story seems to be very um, on point, at least from, you know, everyone involved. Um they dropped a trailer yesterday with more talking about Lord of the Rings, showing, you know, finally giving us an idea we can expect. It's what I love about Game of Thrones. Um, you know, this at this point of the story, you know, we're, I believe we're like 200 years removed from the Game of Thrones lore that we got on HBO. And this is more when the Targaryens were, you know, you didn't want to mess with them. Um, and we're seeing, from what I gather from the trailer, the king has to choose between who's going to be his heir, is going to be his brother, which will be played by Matt Smith. I believe he is playing, let me pull it up here, uh, Damien, Damien Targaryen, yep. Um, or he has to choose between his, his, I believe, his daughter, if I'm not mistaken, which is a tough choice. And, and again, I don't know why he's, like, is he is he dying soon? I'm not too sure. Is he going into battle and he doesn't expect to come back? I'm not too sure. That's why we're going to watch it. Um, but I'm excited, man. Like I said, I know that they burnt us, uh, pun intended, because there's dragons and fire. Um, but I'm really excited for the House of the Dragons, man. I'm, I'm, I've loved the behind the scenes that I've seen. I've loved the people that are behind the project. And I'm, I just want to see dragons, people flying dragons, battles, like I said, the politics, the, the betrayals, the loving these characters again falling in love with the lore again I i'm very hopeful um i do plan on covering this show for sure which i'm excited about and i'm going to try to reach out to some game of thrones people that i know that might want to do like a discussion every sunday after the show airs um you know bring you guys some great content so i'm, I'm really excited i'm more as you can see i'm more excited about house of dragons than i am lord of the rings but I'm hopeful for Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Uh, but I think uh, Game of Thrones is going to be the much better show. Um, I don't know if Lord of the Rings, I don't know if they're going to get much, like I don't, I know for the movies it's not like super violent. And not that violence has makes great content, but I just feel more like the realism. Because this is, you know, obviously there's dragons and stuff This, you know, and Lord of the Rings or House of the Dragons. But, you know, elves and, and uh, orgs and all that stuff. It's more fantasy. And I think, House of the Dragons is more rooted in reality, minus you know dragons and all that stuff. But I'm um, I'm looking forward to Lord of the Rings, but I'm very excited for House of the Dragons. So let me know in the chat for my TV fans, for my Lord of the Ring fans, for my Game of Thrones fans. Where are you at with these shows? Are you excited? Are you not excited? Are you not going to watch it? Are you going to watch it? Do you want coverage for for from my perspective on these two shows? discussions you know all that stuff let me know before we head out and call it a night uh let me check in with the chat here and see what you guys are talking about with these two uh hopefully great shows hopefully two great shows um maxine's ready all right all right team house of, and, and let me know too which one are you more excited for like andrew says hashtag team uh house of dragons uh let's see here just this week, I started getting hyped for uh, House of the Dragon. Yeah, that trailer that they dropped the other day and that behind-the-scenes featurette was – I was in chills. Like, again, it's just like, – what I'm so intrigued about, the theme, 
how is the theme going to be when they drop House of the Dragons? Like, are they going to remix the original Game of Thrones? Are they just going to do something, scratch it, brand new? Because if y'all go back to Game of Thrones every Sunday, dun, 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 like this is one of my favorite themes of all time. And so I'm very intrigued to see what they do there. I, I, I know the score is going to be very grandioso. Like the show score is going to be great, but I'm very intrigued because a good stamp of approval for me is a good theme for a show. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what they give us there. Fan of Lord of the Rings trilogy, but not excited for Rings of Power. We'll see, Andrew. I hope that I hope it's something special next billion dollars, man. That'll be, uh, you know, Jeff Bezos makes that in a, in a day, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Or a huge Lord of the Rings fan, but that's, that's two people in a row, two big fans. It's not too excited. That's interesting. I admit I missed out on both. I'm going to try to sit through one. If I listen, Kevin, you know, you, 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 you take advice from your boy as far as recommendations. I would probably invest my time more in House of the Dragons more than I would game or uh, Lord of the Rings. But uh, that's just my opinion, my brother. Take it as you will. This week, of, yeah, that trailer, that trailer was so good. So, is, is, so this is the Fire and Blood. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Like, I, I never read the books. I, my Game of Thrones knowledge is just strictly TV shows. I watched the show three times, as far as uh, from season one to season eight. <laughs> well, no, I've only seen season eight once, and I never went back. So I've seen season one through six three times all the way through. I've seen season seven and eight only one time through. So very excited. <clears throat> other than being rushed, I really don't uh, didn't hate. Yeah, you know what, Maxine? I'm on that same wavelength. I, I didn't hate it as much as other people did. I did not like it as far as what they did to certain characters, Khaleesi and all that other stuff. But, you know, I, I don't forget the other six phenomenal. It's, hate me, if you will. Still one of the greatest shows of all time. I know the ending wasn't great, but those six seasons, man, some of the greatest TV I've ever seen. And I watch a lot of TV. <laughs> Let me fan up. It looks good, Kevin. I will give it a shot, man. I'm gonna be definitely giving it a shot. <clears throat> um, all right. I think that was the last. We got what well, the grass man been watching reviews. 30 coins. Oh man, that's a throwback, bro. That's like 2020, right? No, 2021. No, 2020. Early the early 2020, if I'm not mistaken, and season two is next year, which I will be uh, watching and covering. But shout out to you, man! I appreciate the love and support. And again, 30 coins will be back next year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I will be watching that. I didn't like how it ended, kind of faded off. But those first like three or four episodes, man, the big ass baby. Um, I don't remember any of the characters' names. It's been so long. But uh, the, the, man, it was a great show. It was a great show up until it ended. I didn't like the way it ended. I didn't like the back half of the season. It got a little bit too uh, melodramatic for me. And the preacher and all that stuff. Yeah, 30 Coins was great. 30 Coins is great. All right, guys. Well, um, we're going to end it on that note. Again, um, for those that are kind of maybe tuning in, uh, we, you know, we celebrated. We, you know, we, 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 we talked about the growth. We talked about how people found the channel, what they want from the channel moving forward. It was fantastic. Thank you so much for 30K. Uh, cheers to you all for being awesome, for supporting the channel, continue to be here for the channel. And we're, we're, we're steaming ahead, you know, hopefully, uh, we are at 40 K next time you see me. And, and also you're going to see me before that, obviously, but, uh, live streams, man, let me know for those. We've got 33 people still in the chat before we wrap it up. I've always tried to find another angle to be more live with you all before, besides, you know, watch alongs that we do, live discussions. Let me know if there's something, if you guys will want to see more lives, you know, whether it's like discussions that we had today or, you know, big news for the day or whatnot. Um, sorry, my dog's just, you know, crip walking over there being crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I want to do more lives. I love interacting with you all. This is so great. I love this community so much. But, you know, we talked about that, which was so fun. I gave you all just like another brief review on Nope. You guys can check out my full non-spoiler review on the channel now. And then tomorrow, can't wait to drop it. We have a full spoiler discussion. Myself, uh, Michael from Black Gay Comic Geek, and uh, Griffin from Film Speak. We, we talked for almost two hours. So if you guys see Nope, you want to know what it's about, what, what we thought about it. We got a full review, spoiler review dropping tomorrow. But we talked about that today. We talked about Halloween Kills. We talked Comic-Con, Marvel, DC, what we want, what we don't want, what we hope we get, all that good stuff. And then we obviously wrapped up with the uh, the TV talk here. So, again, from me, Thor, you want to say what's up to the people? Come here, dude. <clears throat> Come here. Ah, come here, big boy. Ah. From me to this little guy. 
Say what's up, Thor. This little guy, we we appreciate you. Want all right? You want to go back? We appreciate the love and support, man. It means a lot to me, uh, and I'm so excited to continue to to go on this journey with you all. You know, 40k, 50k, 60, and onward. Let's do the damn thing. But thank you guys again for the support. Thank you for tuning into the live stream today. Uh, thank you to all that gave the video a thumbs up. Before you leave, if you haven't, make sure you give the thumbs up. Uh, share it. That would be great. Social media, you know, put the word out there for more people to be a part of this community. Uh, thank you to everyone that supported the channel on that financial side with the super chats today. It means a lot to me. Uh, and, and just thank you for being here. And those that are watching the replay, thank you as well uh you know replay gang all day um you know thumbs up share leave your thoughts in the comments of this video for all the topics i'm gonna probably put time codes um on this video so you guys can know what we covered in the stream i don't know i might i might clip out some of these stuff the topics that we did we'll see we'll see we'll see but neither here nor there again thank you for the support thank you for the 30k and i'll uh see you guys on the next video which will probably be this weekend probably doing some um comic-con covered so with that being said you all have been awesome hope you stay safe i'm about to get some food i'm about to watch some rock tapes some old school wrestling might might put this in you might watch lord of rings you know we might do that tonight but neither here nor there you guys are awesome be safe out there and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace oh you know what i'm sorry hold on before we leave i'm so sorry <laughs> there was like other comments i don't want to uh, leave people out on the let me see let me see we got congrats uh want to see more lives well all right we, we gotta make it happen johnny we gotta make it happen thank you thank you thank you uh definitely more lives cool 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 all right we might we got to figure something out there because i love interacting with you all andrew yeah that's the homie man that's thor what up thor that's the, that's my guy that's my guy there uh and then we got a super chat before we we uh leave with moonlight uh moon like uh great reviews congrats on 30k thank you moon like for the love and support thank you for being part of this community thank you for the support financially you're awesome you all are awesome Thor is awesome. <laughs> and again, I thank you all. And we will catch you. Excuse me. We will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody.